From athletes to authors, entertainers to innovators, we connect with those who help shape our culture. Join us in revealing stories of their lives and backgrounds, their triumphs and tragedies that molded them into who they are today. Authentically off script and personally illuminating, this is Audibles with Jason Scarborough. This week on Audible, Thomas Billups. So Louisville, Mississippi, that's where your story began. That's where it began. How, how would you describe your childhood growing up in Louisville, Mississippi? Uh, growing up, it was, it was real tough for me. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I told you the other day, we had 13 sisters and brothers. I'm the baby. Uh, had to work real hard to get what I got. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know about picking cotton, plant, mm. mule, cutting pulp wood and all that. Uh, it was pretty tough for me, but I was able, my coaches was able to bear with me. I had to miss some days out of school, but uh, at that time I was playing baseball. I played football, uh, and I also ran track. So it was pretty tough. I mean, I missed practice sometimes, but I would make it up. You say it was tough for you. It was tough for you because of the, because the work I had you had to, to work. do. Yeah. I had to work and go to school also. Because my mom and dad, like I told you, my mom, she only finished 10th grade, but she one of the smartest ladies you ever want to find. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad wasn't real educated, but we made it, you know. We had to work hard, but we made it. Is that kind of how you would describe the people of Louisville at the time, hard working? How would you describe the town at the time? That's, well, most of the kids that lived in the country, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the, the kids that lived in the city, they had it pretty good. but. The people that moved in that, that state, most of the black kids that stayed in the country had to work and they had it real hard at that time. Youngest of 14, so you got away with everything, right? No, they, <laughs> hey, I had to do everything. I had to work, I had to work just like they did. How would you describe yourself as a child, young Thomas Phillips? Well, I was pretty tough now. Yeah. I was rough, fight, I used to fight every, almost every day. And if somebody beat me up, I, I, I had to fight him till I beat him. <laughs> so that's just the way I was. What, uh, was. what was your relationship like with your siblings? I mean, the youngest of 14, that's, were, were they kind of like parents? Uh, or was it kind of this, uh, you know, what I, was it like? I didn't have to worry about anything, but I had to work. But they took care of me. I had one brother named Howard. He really took care of me everywhere. He went, he carried me with him. You so guess. that's how I got, I grew up around him. He taught me mostly everything I know. And you guys stayed close. Right. Was there something not involving sports when you were growing up that you said, hey, that's what I want to be when I grow up? Was there something not involving sports? I tell you, I probably was in that community. I, we, we had a, a summer baseball team. And I probably was one of the best baseball players in, the, in that country. I mean, in that county, mm -hmm. in Louisville, uh, at that time. Uh, and one of my other uh, classmates, we played on the high school team. And uh, he always batted third and I batted fourth. So we knew, the coach knew we was going to get some runs if, if, if anybody got on. If, anybody, if nobody got on, he knew he was going to get a run out of it. Ross or myself. So baseball was a big part of your life oh, yeah. early on. But people don't know that. A lot of people don't know baseball is one of my best sports. Huh. I played football, played quarterback at, at the high school. Uh, pretty good. Uh, made all conference, uh, all conference in baseball, went to East Central, played baseball and football. 
So when did basketball start kind of showing up on the radar? Ah, uh, basketball start. I was playing a little basketball too, but I wasn't mm -hmm. that good. Now, but I I play I just play every all the sports. Uh, basketball came around when I was on the team. Uh, I think I was ninth grade, and I might have been one of the best one on there that rebound in there. I wasn't that tall, but I rebound, and one of my coaches uh, got me one day and took me in the gym and, and taught me all about basketball, and I said, well, you know, I might just, you know, I kind of start liking it then. So I said, well, I just do all three of them. And that's when I started playing all three sports. So when that coach took you in the gym, do you think that's maybe when the light bulb or some of the seeds were planted, maybe be a coach later on? Yeah, or, or well, no? to, to, to sport, to start playing more than one sport, mm -hmm. that turned the light on for that. Mm -hmm. But now my high school football court is the one that, and, my, and I had a math teacher also, uh, his name Mr. Hemphill, that's my math teacher, and my football coach was Mr. Hudson, Harold Hudson. I tell you what, I always wanted to be like him. He was tough. I tell you, uh, I mean, I, he, he was tough on the sideline, he was tough in class. Mainly, he ran the school. So that's who I always wanted to be like. I always wanted to walk like him. I wanted to talk like him. I wanted to teach like him. And I also wanted to drive when he drove to school each day. And he was a big influence on me in coaching, not just basketball or football or baseball, just coaching period. He, he uh, and if you go back and check, he coached a lot of guys that played in the NFL. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he was a good coach. And that's where I wanted to always to be a coach. I uh, got it from him. Don't go anywhere. Audible returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. During times of uncertainty, it's comforting to know we have a healthcare system in our community that's been committed to supporting us for well over a century. In this current time, we are standing together and our bond is stronger than ever. KDMC, caring for our community like no one else can. Hey sports fans, before traveling to your game day destination this football season, be sure to download the MDOT Traffic app to help you reach the game safely. With just the touch of a finger, you can see road conditions as well as receive traffic alerts along your route. You can even stay up to date with alerts based on your specific route to the game. The MDOT Traffic app is available free for both Apple and Android devices. For more information, follow at Mississippi DOT on Facebook and Twitter. At Forest General Hospital, we have the playbook for helping patients every day, every season. Our team is here to ensure patients receive safe and reliable medical care. Our mission and game plan is to do what is best for our patients. Our lineup of skilled healthcare professionals, together with advanced technology and treatment options, set Forest General apart. We are here to help you make winning decisions when it comes to your health. For more information about our services, visit ForestGeneral.com. From tablets to drones, even tractors with their own computers. As a farm family of Mississippi, we use the latest technology to get the most out of our land, growing acres of rice, soybeans, and corn. These digital tools help us map out where to plant and harvest. They manage our farmland from a bird's eye view and even tell us the right amount of water to use. It's a smarter way to farm, providing for our family and yours, the farm families of Mississippi. 
Family owned and operated since 1986, Lakeside Molding has become the trusted source of architectural products throughout the South. They offer fine interior architectural moldings, custom millwork, and cabinet doors designed and handcrafted in Flowood. Their showroom on Lakeland Drive is stocked with today's most sought after interior details, including corbels, post, fireplace mantles, bath vanities, mirrors, and much more. Tim Shoemaker and his staff work closely to meet client needs for new construction, restoration, and remodeling projects. Lakeside Molding, where details make the difference. How local is Bank Plus? We're here, here, and here. And we're with you here, here, and here. Wherever, whenever you need us. We make our banking decisions right here because local means more than a location. It means a commitment to deliver more for our customers and our communities. Your bank, your plus, Bank Plus. Thomas Billups like at Camille High School? Camille Street High School? Yeah. Uh, kind of low-key most of the time. Really? Yeah. Uh, had a lot of friends. Uh, you know, a lot of girls' friends. Not girlfriend, but just friends. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of just everybody loved me at that school. I had a... a one of the uh, cheerleaders coach, she always bring me in and talk to him, said, Billups, you're so nice. And uh, I try to be as nice as I could, but you know, I had a little mean street also, but <laughs> uh, I just, yeah, I just wanted to do the right thing at that mm -hmm. time because I had a hard time growing up. So, and uh, you know, if you live where I lived at, at the point, and at that time, we didn't have a bathroom. Mm -hmm. We had an outside bathroom. We didn't have a refrigerator, we had an ice box. Now, y'all probably don't know nothing about that. Mm -hmm. So, it was tough on me. But, I survived, and I had to work to survive. And I know about that, and that's why, at this point in time, I know what it takes to get kids to understand basketball, football, or baseball. Or, you know, you have to go and work and you have to let kids know you care about them. And that's why my high school coach uh, cared about kids. He was tough on them, but it was tough love. So you graduate from high school, you earn your bachelor's, master's from Jackson State in 1975. Your coaching career starts at Vicksburg High School in 1976 as an assistant boys basketball coach for Vicksburg High School. So h how would you describe that first coaching experience for, for young Coach Billups? Well, i tell you what, it, it was kind of, I already had a little experience in coaching. Mm -hmm. And I always kind of got it from my high school coach. When, but when I did, when I graduated from Jackson State, you know you have to do your PT. So I went to Ken High School, which is the roughest school system at that time. I did my uh, student teacher there. And, and the principal let me coach the ninth grade because they didn't have anybody to coach ninth grade basketball. So I started coaching there, doing my uh, student teaching. So four years later, 1980, you helped lead the Gators basketball team to a state championship. But in 83, you took over the Vicksburg Junior High program. I'm going to read this to you. People okay. love when I do this. <laughs> Your eighth grade teams won four Little Six crowns. Your ninth grade teams win two Little Six championships. So early on, you're getting a taste of what your life would hold, winning championships. Right. Were you surprised at just or were you not surprised at how quick well, you were catching on? you know, I'll tell you. Let me tell you a story, and then we'll get back to that. I'm going to tell you who. I'll tell you about my math teacher. I was in his class one day, and he said, and if you know him, he was real funny, Mr. <laughs> Hemp here. Uh, he said, Billings? He said, it's not many... It's, it's not too many builds around here, is it? 
I said, no, sir. He said, but you ain't going to never be nothing. That's what he said. And I said, yes, sir. And that's what got me started then. It was a motivation for me. When he said that to you, that, that's what started that fire That's burning. what started that fire to me. When he said, Billups, you ain't going to never be nothing. And I talked to him about that all the time. I told him, I said, you probably, God probably wanted you to say that to me to motivate me. And he did. How old were you when he said that to you? Probably 17, uh, 18, but not even, I wouldn't even, I, would, I think I was a junior in high school. So that lit that fire to prove them wrong. That, right, it was a motivation for me. Well, you started proving them wrong. In 86, you make the move to Jackson, mm -hmm. Blackburn Junior High School. Remember those days? Right. You had an impact on those teams immediately, two city championships and three championship game appearances. You're there for five years, and then you make the move to Lanier, where you really, really made your mark. Right. How much did you know about Lanier before, before going over there and interviewing for the job? Well, when I was in high school, we played Lanier High School in football. Okay. And they were tough. They were real tough. Uh, but before, at Vicksburg High, that job came open. The high school job, all of those championships that you just read out, uh, the high school job came open three times. Did and you apply? I applied for them three times. Then they told me that I wasn't old enough. I didn't have enough basketball experience. So I stayed there 12 years, just like I stayed there 12 years. And Never had a losing season in basketball there. So, as my kids were, you know, I had a daughter, I had two sons and a daughter, and I said to myself, I said, you know, I need to go. I was staying in Jackson, my wife was in Jackson, and I would commune almost every day, and I had an apartment over there. And I said, you know, I need to try to go to Jackson to raise my kid and put them in sports. And you know, just like I wanted them to also uh, play sports like I did. So uh, I moved back to Jackson and that's where I started at Blackburn Middle School. Don't go anywhere. Audible returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. Hello, I'm Gary Jolly from the Tractor Store in Richland. Now's the best time of the year to save more with Mahindra. And it all starts with zero. Pay zero down and zero percent interest up to 60 months. That's more for less on many of Mahindra's best-selling models with tractors that deliver more lift, capacity, fuel efficiency, and built-in weight. So get zero down, zero percent interest for up to 60 months on Mahindra, the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra, available at the Tractor Store in Richland. Hey sports fans, this football season, MDOT wants to ensure you get to your game day destination safely. So before you hit the road to watch your favorite team, be sure to download the MDOT Traffic app. The MDOT Traffic app is free for both Apple and Android devices. And remember to drive smart on the way to the game. That means buckling up, obeying the speed limit, and avoiding distracted driving, especially when traveling in work zones. For more information, follow at Mississippi DOT on Facebook and Twitter. I can totally see us cooking in this kitchen. I can totally see us cooking like pros with natural gas. Oh, I would love to soak in that tub. I'd love to save energy and money with a natural gas water heater. I can imagine cuddling up in here. Because natural gas heating keeps the house comfortable when we need it. We have to get this house. We have to get natural gas. We're investing in infrastructure to help bring comfort and savings to you. Visit centerpointenergy.com slash natural gas benefits. Centerpoint Energy, always there. We hope you're enjoying Audibles with Jason Scarborough. Watch every full unedited episode via our digital platforms. Download our free Roku TV channel simply by searching for Audibles on your Roku device. Look us up on our YouTube channel too under Spirit Media Network and hit subscribe and enjoy episodes of Audibles along with our other original content. Bookmark our website at spiritmedianet.com and stay up to date on what's happening on the Spirit Media Network where we're changing the game. 
The COVID vaccines are here. Know the facts. Get the shot in the pandemic. The vaccines are proven safe and effective. The vaccine does not contain COVID. Nor will it give you COVID. Side effects are relatively minor. Arm pain, fatigue, and low-grade fever. COVID-19 vaccine protects you and those you love. As healthcare workers, we're setting the example for our patients and our community. This is your shot. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccine today. Serving clients in Mississippi and the Deep South, Warren Brothers Media provides endless solutions for you. From wedding videography, social media advertising and promotion, photography, video production, and much more, Zach and Zane Warren walk with you every step of the way to meet your individual need. Contact Warren Brothers Media to get started on your project today today by logging on to warrenbrothersmedia.com. Warren Brothers Media, brothers serving others. So I'm going to read off some more to you. People love when I do this, by the way. Okay. So 91, you begin this run at Lanier that to this day is honestly one of the most impressive in all of high school athletics. You're, you built a national high school basketball powerhouse, essentially. On your watch, Lanier appeared in 13 MHSAA state basketball championships. You captured eight state crowns. You garnered a record of over 600 wins, 617 wins against 119 losses in a 22-year career as Lanier's Bulldogs head basketball coach. Metro Coach of the Year six times three-time state basketball coach of the year winner. That, that fire must have still been burning because when you hear all that, that fire had to constantly be burning to push you because you hear all that now, what you accomplished in 22 seasons at Lanier. Yeah, people knew about them being tough in football, but they weren't known as a basketball powerhouse until Coach Billups showed up. Right. Uh, that basketball program wasn't that good, but let me, now, my mom and dad, taught me, they said, son, nobody never gonna give you anything. You gotta mm-hmm. work for what you gonna get. Mm-hmm. And I always work hard. One championship wasn't good enough for me. Two wasn't good enough for me. And you know, I just kept on every year. I just kept working harder and harder and harder. I just wasn't gonna let the fire stop. And I, you know, and I end up, uh, you know, send a couple guys to the uh, NBA and uh, 17 of them to, uh, overseas. So that's what made me so proud and that's what makes you want to work mm-hmm. because when you do things for kids and they appreciate you, you just, that's what makes you want to keep working. I'm, I'm curious, just after hearing you say that, that fire that your math teacher, coach and teacher and then your parents just the kind of work ethic you guys had that was the combining force in having that fire constantly burning am I, am I hearing that right I always I always think about that yeah my mom and dad my high school coach and my math, high school math teacher and that's I always when I think of things and I say uh maybe I shouldn't do that <laughs> but it go back. It always go back to my high school teachers and my those people. Mm-hmm. So I just when I go to work, I go do it the best I can. Mm-hmm. I, it don't matter if it's basketball, baseball, or football. I try to do the best I can in all of them. Yeah, I mean you excelled obviously at Lanier. I mean, what a decorated career! But you were you always wanted to be a college coach, and, right? And I remember. <clears throat> In another interview, two apps put in at Jackson State, two apps put in at Mississippi Valley State, two apps at Alcorn State, and they, they had vacancies. And they tell you after, I mean, I almost want to call those people and say, do you need me to read this to you? <laughs> they tell you that you needed more college experience. I say, I, I don't have college experience. And, but you know, it was good for me. It didn't do anything but make me work harder. Mm-hmm. All I wanted to do is win basketball games. It didn't matter where I was, high school or college. I just wanted to win. And I just wanted to, I, you know, I always have it in the back of my head. When people don't think I can do it, 
I'm going to do it. Because I'm going to do everything in my power to get it done. So all that did was throw more wood on That's the fire. All it, yeah. That's all that did. This made me work harder. So you, but you stay at Lanier, you continue to coach them, right? and then in 2013, you leave. How would you frame up your departure and what that time was like in your life? Well, before then, uh, you know, like you said, I went, uh, I, I put in an application for Jackson State, Alcorn, and Valley, and I, th I got one interview for Alcorn and one from, from Jackson State. And at that point in time, when I called Valley, they said, well, if you ain't got no college experience, we're looking for people with college experience. I said, okay, fine. But, <clears throat> you know, it, it didn't stop me from working. Mm -hmm. It didn't stop me. It didn't hurt me at all because I knew as hard as I work and I try to do the right thing. But now, like I told you a few minutes ago, I'm tough on the court. But it's tough though. But I, I, you know, I done took care of so many kids and myself and my wife, we done took care of so many kids that I coached. Uh, you know, and, and everywhere we go, they asking about my wife because mm -hmm. she, she loved to do that. So it, all that, it didn't do anything but just make me work harder. Mm -hmm. Now you can ask me that question again. I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't go anywhere. Audible returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. Hey, sports fans. Before traveling to your game day destination this football season, be sure to download the MDOT Traffic app to help you reach the game safely. With just the touch of a finger, you can see road conditions as well as receive traffic alerts along your route. You can even stay up to date with alerts based on your specific route to the game. The MDOT Traffic app is available free for both Apple and Android devices. For more information, follow at Mississippi DOT on Facebook and Twitter. At Forest General Hospital, we have the playbook for helping patients every day, every season. Our team is here to ensure patients receive safe and reliable medical care. Our mission and game plan is to do what is best for our patients. Our lineup of skilled healthcare professionals, together with advanced technology and treatment options, set Forest General apart. We are here to help you make winning decisions when it comes to your health. For more information about our services, visit ForestGeneral.com. This piece of land allows us to grow row after row of corn, cotton, and soybeans. That's why as a farm family of Mississippi, we do our best to take care of this land. Water conservation, improvements in soil health, and reducing our carbon footprint all to grow the best products we can. It's just how we do things around here, providing for our family and yours, the farm families of Mississippi. Family owned and operated since 1986, Lakeside Molding has become the trusted source of architectural products throughout the South. They offer fine interior architectural moldings, custom millwork, and cabinet doors designed and handcrafted in Flowood. Their showroom on Lakeland Drive is stocked with today's most sought after interior details, including corbels, post, fireplace mantles, bath vanities, mirrors, and much more. Tim Shoemaker and his staff work closely to meet client needs for new construction, restoration, and remodeling projects. Lakeside Molding, where details make the difference. The COVID vaccines are here. Know the facts. Get the shot. End the pandemic. The vaccines are proven safe and effective. Vaccine does not contain COVID. Nor will it give you COVID. Side effects are relatively minor and include arm pain, fatigue, and low-grade fever. The COVID-19 vaccine protects you and the ones you love. As healthcare workers, we're setting the example for our patients and community. This is your shot. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccine today. The COVID vaccines are here. Know the facts. Get the shot. End the pandemic. The vaccines are proven safe and effective. Vaccine does not contain COVID. Nor will it give you COVID. Side effects are relatively minor and include arm pain, fatigue, and low-grade fever. The COVID-19 vaccine protects you and the ones you love. As healthcare workers, we're setting the example for our patients and community. This is your shot. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccine today.
I mean, the departure at Lanier, that, was, that had to be tough because this is a place that you gave your heart, your soul. Uh, how would you describe that time in your life? Well, at that point in time, uh, something kind of happened there at Lanier. Not mm -hmm. Lanier now. I love Lanier. Mm -hmm. I would give my, I, if I had to do it over, I wouldn't do it no other place except Lanier. Mm -hmm. It was just the administration downtown. And I used to just do this to make sure we all come back together again. We used to have an old school, new school basketball game. So that means bringing all of my old players back to play my new team. So at the point in time, the superintendent that was there wanted me to pay to use the gym. And we never did that. We went over there one day to play the game on a Saturday. And we had about three or 400 people standing on the outside. They wouldn't let us use the gym. So the TV station, I think it was Channel 16 came up and our superintendent was named Dr. Gray. And I called him and he said that, well, coach, we can't let you do it. I said, okay. And after that, I said, you know, I done did all of this work mm -hmm. to make JPS look good in basketball. And then I say, I can't use the gym that Dr. Sargent, at that, Dr. Sargent was a superintendent when I first got hired and started winning all those championships. Mm -hmm. And I said, if I can't use my gym, what Dr. Sargent built for me, she came and told me because everywhere we went, if we played in Jackson or anywhere else we played, we had a sellout every night. Mm -hmm. And people were, were knocking doors down at the school, busting windows down just to get in the game. So I said, if, you know, if, if it's not, if they don't want to let me use the gym and I done did all this for JPS, for, for Jackson, Mississippi mm -hmm. and Jackson Public School System, I said, it's time for me to leave mm -hmm. because they don't appreciate me. So at that point in time, that's what happened. So you leave Lanier, or that was hard, and you coach a year at Oak Grove High School. Good experience for you. I've heard you talk about that. And finally, you get a chance to, to prove yourself at nearby Tougaloo College, hired July 2014. So when that moment finally came, that moment you'd finally been waiting on, how would you describe that moment? Uh -huh. The best feeling that, that I, because I always wanted to be a college coach, mm -hmm. it was the best feeling that, well, when they told me, I, it was the best feeling that I ever had because that's what I always wanted to do, coach at the college, college level. And Tougaloo, the Lou as they call it. Yeah, the Lou. What was the reception like when you finally became the head coach? Do you remember the, the press conference, the... Uh, the reception you got and everything, do you remember that? Uh, i tell you what, we had, now the people at Lanier High School, they knew about the interview that I had with Tougaloo. So during the conference, when, when we had the conference, it was more Lanier fans there than Tougaloo fans. Wow. And they still come to, to the game. All of my fans from, and let me just say something about the near fans, and I know the best you ever wanted to see. Mm -hmm. You couldn't find no better fan than the near high school. And they was there with me at Tougaloo. And it was in my first game, the uh, athletic director said there was more money at that one game that he made all year the year before. You didn't waste any time getting things started at, at the Lou. During the 2018-2019 season, you guys go 28-5 overall, 12-2 in league play. Right. K-8 
captured the 2018-2019 GCAC regular season and tournament championships and you are an automatic bid to the NAIA tournament. That same season, you're named Coach of the Year in the GCAC. So in your previous seasons before this year, you got over 100 wins already in collegiate coaching. How would you describe how you've made the transition seem so easy to go from Lanier High School, Oak Grove High School, and you made the transition now to college? It's, it's a piece of cake for you. Yeah. Well, because the reason is because I always worked it hard. Mm -hmm. and, and if you think about it, if you're coaching basketball, it might be at a different level, but it's basketball. Mm -hmm. So it was a little, it, it, it changed a little bit, but the hard work never stopped. And, you know, my first year there, we, you know, we went 13 and 14, I believe. But after that year, I just had to get used to the kids and college kids and stuff like that. And, you know, because I had to, it was a little change in coaching difference. So that's what took me that first year. Don't go anywhere. Audible's returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. Hello, I'm Gary Jolly from the Tractor Store in Richland. Now's the best time of the year to save more with Mahindra. And it all starts with zero. Pay zero down and zero percent interest up to 60 months. That's more for less on many of Mahindra's best-selling models with tractors that deliver more lift, capacity, fuel efficiency, and built-in weight. So get zero down, zero percent interest for up to 60 months on Mahindra, the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra, available at the Tractor Store in Richland. Hey sports fans, this football season, MDOT wants to ensure you get to your game day destination safely. So before you hit the road to watch your favorite team, be sure to download the MDOT Traffic app. The MDOT Traffic app is free for both Apple and Android devices. And remember to drive smart on the way to the game. That means buckling up, obeying the speed limit, and avoiding distracted driving, especially when traveling in work zones. For more information, follow at Mississippi DOT on Facebook and Twitter. When it comes to cooking meals, drying clothes, heating water, and my home, nothing beats natural gas from Centerpoint Energy. It's my most affordable energy option. It costs less to use than electricity, propane, and heating oil. So if you already have natural gas, keep it. If you're replacing an appliance, choose it. Natural gas, your best choice. Safe and affordable, rest assured. For more on the benefits of a natural gas home, visit centerpointenergy.com slash natural gas benefits. Centerpoint Energy, always there. We hope you're enjoying Audibles with Jason Scarborough. Watch every full, unedited episode via our digital platforms. Download our free Roku TV channel simply by searching for Audibles on your Roku device. Look us up on our YouTube channel, too, under Spirit Media Network and hit subscribe. And enjoy episodes of Audibles along with our other original content. Bookmark our website at spiritmedianet.com and stay up to date on what's happening on the Spirit Media Network, where we're changing the game. During times of uncertainty, it's comforting to know we have a healthcare system in our community that's been committed to supporting us for well over a century. In this current time, we are standing together and our bond is stronger than ever. KDMC, caring for our community like no one else can. Serving clients in Mississippi and the Deep South, Warren Brothers Media provides endless solutions for you. From wedding videography, social media advertising and promotion, photography, video production, and much more, Zach and Zane Warren walk with you every step of the way to meet your individual need. Contact Warren Brothers Media to get started on your project today by logging on to warrenbrothersmedia.com. Warren Brothers Media, brothers serving others. You're inducted into the Mississippi Association of Coaches Hall of Fame. Yeah. That had to be a proud moment oh, for yeah. you. That, that was a big moment. Uh, you know, Johnny Miller, I mean, Johnny Mim told me we had it at the Hilton. He told me, myself and 
four other coaches was there also. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a sellout. He told me there was more people that ever been at a, a Hall of Fame, I mean, Coaches Hall of Fame mm -hmm. in high school. A lot of Lanier fans. Oh, most. Hey, it was <laughs> packed. It was packed with Lanier fans. I mean, and I got to think in that moment that you're reflecting back to those days working in Winston County, the, the hard work and all that that went into it. I mean, your career is far from over, but to be in the Hall of Fame, to win all the games you've won, you know, I'm sure you've reflected on those times back in Winston County often. Oh, I did. I did. And, you know, uh, right now I'm not finished yet. Mm -hmm. I, I think I got – I feel good. I'm, my health is okay. And I think I want to put in at least six or seven more years. So I'm not going to stop working. You know, sometimes I don't get the talent, but – if you don't get the talent, you just still got to work. You got to work. Mm -hmm. Good thing will happen for you. You've coached so many great players and sent players to the NBA, sent players overseas. What are the traits that Coach Thomas Billups looks for in a player that says, all right, I can work with that? What are the traits you're looking for in somebody? Okay. When I first, you know, when I have a trial for basketball, mm -hmm. I always look at a kid that comes in and just just work his butt off and just hustle and I don't look I don't mainly look at the shooting whether he can shoot I just look at whether he can dribble and can he run hmm. because I'm a defensive man coach I love you know I love for you to make some basket too but I'm a defensive man man the coach and that's how we won all our championship with defense so as long as they can run long, long as, as they, they can, can run dribble. and long as they can dribble and i know if the, if they can run i can teach them how to play defense i love that <laughs> I, I was expecting like a long list and i just got like a couple of things there yeah. i like that you've impacted so many people you were featured on wjtv's hometown hero right uh back in july uh, you already know, you know the story. Former uh, student athlete of yours, Alex McCaskill, right. was on hard times. Oh, yeah. And didn't have anywhere to go. You, you helped him out, not just with a place to stay, but kind of help him get his business started. All right, yeah. You still help so many of your former students. What, where does that come from to, to still help them? Well, I was just like my mom. She always helped people, and she always told me, if you got something, always share it. Mm -hmm. God going to bless you. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where I got it from. So I got to ask, because I've been joking with you about the phone conversations I've had with friends that have covered high school athletics, and they're like, oh, so you're interviewing Coach Billups. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is, is he mean? I'm like, <laughs> no. He's like one of the nicest guys ever. And they're like, I've watched him coach some games. He he seems pretty intense and I'm like he couldn't be a, a nicer guy and you are really laid back every phone conversation we've had you're so laid back so when you're not coaching when you're not recruiting when you're not doing interviews with goofballs like me what, what do you do to just kind of relax and, and chill out what, what's your go-to you know my wife get on me all the time <laughs> I'm always working yeah I, I I probably sleep probably about, maybe about five or six hours a night, but uh, all, uh, I works around the house all the time. She, t she used to tell me, won't you sit down sometime? Mm -hmm. I said, well, work got to be done. If you live in a house, you got to keep it up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and let me tell you another story about what you just mentioned about. And, <laughs> and the kids, one day, we was at Lanier High School and they were janking uh, my daughter and my son, TJ and Shaughnessy. My other son went to Mississippi Valley. He went to mm -hmm. Louisville High School. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, how you, how y'all live with y'all daddy? He's so mean. <laughs> and my son and my uh, daughter say, he's not mean to us. He one of the best dads that you ever can find. Mm. 
So that made me so proud of them because they knew, you know, they knew then that that I cared about all those other kids and and I treat them the same way I treated them. The kids that I coach, I treat them the same way I coach, treated my kid, my own kids. Don't go anywhere. Audible returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. Hey sports fans, before traveling to your game day destination this football season, be sure to download the MDOT Traffic app to help you reach the game safely. With just the touch of a finger, you can see road conditions as well as receive traffic alerts along your route. You can even stay up to date with alerts based on your specific route to the game. The MDOT Traffic app is available free for both Apple and Android devices. For more information, follow at Mississippi DOT on Facebook and Twitter. At Forest General Hospital, we have the playbook for helping patients every day, every season. Our team is here to ensure patients receive safe and reliable medical care. Our mission and game plan is to do what is best for our patients. Our lineup of skilled healthcare professionals, together with advanced technology and treatment options, set Forest General apart. We are here to help you make winning decisions when it comes to your health. For more information about our services, visit ForestGeneral.com. This piece of land allows us to grow row after row of corn, cotton, and soybeans. That's why as a farm family of Mississippi, we do our best to take care of this land. Water conservation, improvements in soil health, and reducing our carbon footprint all to grow the best products we can. It's just how we do things around here, providing for our family and yours, the farm families of Mississippi. Family owned and operated since 1986, Lakeside Molding has become the trusted source of architectural products throughout the South. They offer fine interior architectural moldings, custom millwork, and cabinet doors designed and handcrafted in Flowood. Their showroom on Lakeland Drive is stocked with today's most sought after interior details, including corbels, posts, fireplace mantles, bath vanities, mirrors, and much more. Tim Shoemaker and his staff work closely to meet client needs for new construction, restoration, and remodeling projects. Lakeside Molding, where details make the difference. How local is Bank Plus? We're here, here, and here. And we're with you here, here, and here. Wherever, whenever you need us. We make our banking decisions right here because local means more than a location. It means a commitment to deliver more for our customers and our communities. Your bank, your plus, Bank Plus. The COVID vaccines are here. Know the facts. Get the shot. End the pandemic. The vaccines are proven safe and effective. The vaccine does not contain COVID. Nor will it give you COVID. Side effects are relatively minor. Arm pain, fatigue, and low-grade fever. COVID-19 vaccine protects you. And those you love. As healthcare workers, we're setting the example for our patients and our community. This is your shot. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccine today. think that that persona that you've got on the floor, you mentioned your teacher, math teacher, coach earlier, guy you wanted to be like, wanted to, do you think you get that from him and you kind know, of mimic that on the floor? You know what? You're right. I did. But where I got, like I just said about my mom, my high school coach wouldn't let nobody drive his car except me. He would let me drive, go pick up his sons and drive them to school and stuff like that, go pick them up. He wouldn't let anybody drive his car but me. So I said that to say, when you show kids that you care about them, he showed me that he cared about me. And I've never forgotten that. And he's still living right now and I always think about him all the time. So I love this question, and the Warren brothers love this question too, when I get to ask it. <laughs> what are we listening to if we get in the car or truck? I'm always curious because people are, are different in, their, in the flavors of music they, they enjoy, the genres, podcasts. Some people don't listen to anything. So if I hop in the car, we just say, hey, we're going to go grab a burger. And what, what, what's coming on the car radio? 
or stereo if we, if we hop in right now? If, if you hop in my car, I probably got my phone now because I got it loaded uh -huh. down with Bobby Blue Bland. Okay. <laughs> Tyrone David. Okay. B I know what Tyrone. B.B. King. Yeah. All of them. I probably got my uh, uh, earplugs in on my phone listening to it. Just listen to blues. All that other rap, I don't listen to it. So you're a blues guy. I'm a blues guy. Who's the best blues singer ever? B.B. King. Who's second? Uh, Bobby Blue Bland. I obviously have to ask who's third now. Alba King. He's, he's not missing a beat. <laughs> and all of those are on your phone. All of them on my phone. Every single one Every of them. Every single one of them. You've been married to your sweet wife, Miss Sandra, for 46 years now? 46. What is the Coach Billups playbook for a long, healthy, successful marriage? I tell you what, you, if you had a wife like I got, she is the backbone of my family. One of the smartest ladies you ever gonna find. If I don't know something, I'm gonna ask her first. And if I don't know how to do something, I ask her what she think, I'm gonna ask her first before I ask anybody. She knows. She knows, <laughs> I'll tell you. And I was so bad until I met her in high school. Mm. I was real bad. Like I said now, uh, I met her in high school. She was in the 11th grade. I met her and she my high school sweetheart. Right now I married her. And that's what changed my life. So you guys have three children, six grandchildren. Your son TJ has some time at Mississippi State playing ball. Yeah. Uh, do we see any future athletes among the grandchildren? Do, do we see any? Uh, yeah, we got, uh, my daughter got, uh, she got uh, a son and, and a little boy, I mean a daughter and a little son. They, my granddaughter, cheerleader, softball, uh, basketball, my grandson, uh, Bo, Football, baseball, I mean, they really hard. And TJ's son, uh, he got twins that uh, one play football, one play basketball, and the other, the, the girl is the cheerleader. And his oldest son, TJ, he's a junior at Morehouse College in Atlanta. Don't go anywhere. Audible returns in a moment here on the Spirit Media Network. Hello, I'm Gary Jolly from the Tractor Store in Richland. Now's the best time of the year to save more with Mahindra. And it all starts with zero. Pay zero down and zero percent interest up to 60 months. That's more for less on many of Mahindra's best-selling models with tractors that deliver more lift, capacity, fuel efficiency, and built-in weight. So get zero down, zero percent interest for up to 60 months on Mahindra, the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra, available at the Tractor Store in Richland. Hey sports fans, this football season, MDOT wants to ensure you get to your game day destination safely. So before you hit the road to watch your favorite team, be sure to download the MDOT Traffic app. The MDOT Traffic app is free for both Apple and Android devices. And remember to drive smart on the way to the game. That means buckling up, obeying the speed limit, and avoiding distracted driving, especially when traveling in work zones. For more information, follow at Mississippi DOT on Facebook and Twitter. I can totally see us cooking in this kitchen. I can totally see us cooking like pros with natural gas. Oh, I would love to soak in that tub. I'd love to save energy and money with a natural gas water heater. I can imagine cuddling up in here. Because natural gas heating keeps the house comfortable when we need it. We have to get this house. We have to get natural gas. We're investing in infrastructure to help bring comfort and savings to you. Visit centerpointenergy.com slash natural gas benefits. Centerpoint Energy. 
always there. We hope you're enjoying Audibles with Jason Scarborough. Watch every full, unedited episode via our digital platforms. Download our free Roku TV channel simply by searching for Audibles on your Roku device. Look us up on our YouTube channel, too, under Spirit Media Network and hit subscribe. And enjoy episodes of Audibles along with our other original content. Bookmark our website at spiritmedianet.com and stay up to date on what's happening on the Spirit Media Network, where we're changing the game. The COVID vaccines are here. Know the facts. Get the shot. End the pandemic. The vaccines are proven safe and effective. Vaccine does not contain COVID. Nor will it give you COVID. Side effects are relatively minor and include arm pain, fatigue, and low-grade fever. The COVID-19 vaccine protects you and the ones you love. As healthcare workers, we're setting the example for our patients and community. This is your shot. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccine today. Serving clients in Mississippi and the Deep South, Warren Brothers Media provides endless solutions for you. From wedding videography, social media advertising and promotion, photography, video production, and much more, Zach and Zane Warren walk with you every step of the way to meet your individual need. Contact Warren Brothers Media to get started on your project today by logging on to warrenbrothersmedia.com. Warren Brothers Media, brothers serving others. Might have some athletes that will be to be determined. Right. Might have some athletes there. Yeah. How do you think? We we hear all the time kids have changed. Kids have changed. You know, with the day and time we live in. Right. Uh, coaches are trying to figure out should they change their coaching style? How do they adapt? How do you perceive that? Is it that coaches or I'm sorry, kids have changed, or have adults? Well, we adults I, I think kids changed, but. Coach Bill's not going to change. <laughs> I don't want too many games. And, and if it's not broke, I'm not going to try to fix it. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to change my coaching style. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the kid just going to have to buy in to me. If they don't buy in with me, then, you know, they probably going to go to some other school or don't play for me. But the one that does, good things happen to them. I always like asking people this question because I, I want to know for my own purposes, you know, if there's something I can learn from it. H- how do you deal with criticism? Criticism I, I, is a part of any job. Go through this ear and come out that way. Don't even listen to I it. I don't even listen to it. So you don't, you don't do the whole social media thing? I right? don't do it. I don't get out there. I don't do any of that. They can talk, say what they want to say. They, good things or bad things. I don't even worry about it. I don't even... You know, listening to it, I just know what Thomas Billups got to do. So you're not on social media at all, are you? At all. I kind of wish you'd get a Twitter, (laughs) if you want to know the truth. I think that'd be entertaining. (laughs) So no chance that you get in a Twitter? No chance. No chance. No chance. I, I, I don't even like, really, I don't even like anybody FaceTiming me but my grandkids. (laughs) I've got to ask, so you're the youngest of 14 kids growing up in Winston County. Uh, I think you were telling me you were the first to attend college. Is that right? The first to attend. First to finish high school. To finish high school and attend attend college. college. What do you think a a young Thomas Phillips growing up in in Louisville, Winston County, what, what do you think he would think of all that you've accomplished? When you look at all that you've come from, all the hard work, what do you think a young Thomas Phillips thinks of, of everything you accomplished? Back then, like I said, I got it from my mom and my dad. Uh, you know, people always say what you can't do and what you can do. And I always remember my mom tell me, you can do anything you want to do. But back then, I always wanted to work hard because that's how I got up Mm -hmm. and I didn't want anybody to give me anything I always wanted to work for what I got and and I think that's what changed me there it you work hard to get what you you know what you get thank you for your time I've been wanting to do this for a long time and followed your career for a long time always been a fan of yours and uh enjoyed sitting down with you you joining us for all of us i really appreciate it and i hope we can do it again sometime oh yeah anytime i, I you know like i said uh 
Hey, I love talking about my past because mm-hmm. uh, it made me feel really good because a lot of people say I couldn't do it. And, and that's, you know, that's what motivated me. And you're still doing it. Still doing it. And, you know, you mentioned something about Mississippi Coaches Hall of Fame. I want to go higher than that. Wow. I want to go to uh, what is the, the uh, Hall of Fame uh, out there on Lakeland. Mm-hmm. I, I want to get in there. And I'm going to keep working until I get there. I like your chances. I'm yeah. just going to go ahead and say that. <laughs> I'm going to go on the record and say I like your chances of getting in there. Yeah. Hey, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Well, thank you. Uh, same to your family. watching. We'll see you next week for another episode of Audibles with Jason Scarborough.